So he's being a bit antisocial, but way back there is my new rooster. This is Dark Brahma rooster. Um, so Trollforge suggested that I try Dark Brahma as a breed because they're very cold hardy, small comb, nice size, like a larger chicken. And the nice thing about Brahmas is they often go broody. So broodiness in my chickens is something I actually would like to encourage. <laughs> and I just let him out of the cage. I got him the other day. Um, somebody had one, you know, local, fairly locally. So I drove, grabbed him, had him in a cage for a couple days. I didn't keep him there as long as I kept the Americana. But it looks like so far everything's okay. Like I left him, but he's kind of, he's not exactly the alpha. So he accepted his place pretty quickly. Um, I do still have, aside from my two new roosters, I do have, I don't know if you can see him there in the shadows. That is, I so I still have the, the barred rock and I still have the all white Easter egg rooster. And the barred rock and the, the East, white Easter egg, neither of which I'm like super thrilled about, I will admit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to let them be f the, the daddies of the next generation of the chicks. But I haven't killed them yet. I, I did call the one Easter egg, the sort of reddish colored one. I didn't really like him. He was a jerk. He was definitely the king of the, the, the coop. Um, when I released the Dark Brahma today, there was a little bit of a scuffle. He went to fisticuffs with all the other roosters. The whole situation, I got a little nervous and I got myself a whacking stick just in case it got too heated and I needed to separate them. But, <coughs> yes, thank you. But the whole interaction lasted, I don't know, five minutes maybe, <laughs> like all three battles. So, you know, I think it was pretty standard, just pecking order establishment. But I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Um, he has pretty much found his place in the flock, even though he keeps to himself. He really is in love with the Americana hen, which is a great combo. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Four, four roosters is a lot, I will admit. I'm probably going to section off the two roosters I'm not as happy about, but don't necessarily want to put in the freezer. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to see how, how the two new roosters, because these are obviously two breeds that I want, the Americana and the Dark Brahma. So I want to see how they integrate. If it's a problem, then either I'll cull the old roosters or at least otherwise separate them. But I'll, I'll just play that by ear, because I don't really mind if they're here. I just, you know, I'm not thrilled by them. But yeah, pretty soon I will be collecting eggs, so it's only a matter of time. I'm going to wait until things settle and I see some, see some uh, roosters and hens, especially the new ones, bumping uglies. And then I'll collect some eggs and get this whole next generation started. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on the new antisocial rooster and just general chicken update. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey. Oh, there's the lady striker.